Hey guys, a quick video to show you uh, cleaning and, and detailing on the iRobot i7. Um, get yourself a couple of damp, warm cloths. Um, you can just be careful around the soft buttons. I just kind of dried it off now, but uh, now I'm going to take um, a reamer and the wet cloth and go kind of around the edges. Move to a flat surface, then press clean. Surface, then press clean. For those that uh, don't know, I think all of the newer, maybe five years and current iRobots have some kind of a handle to carry it with. Move to a flat surface, then press clean. Don't have a dry cloth, so I'm using this cloth here. Notice on the back here, if you don't get to this as quick as possible, you'll have a hair that kind of builds up and, and it's kind of guilt by association or, you know, it keeps on combining and then it'll actually cut through and see it did here. So I, I didn't get to it quick enough. Um, so what you're going to do for this one is this tab here, um, push in, that's just going to lift up this and you can take, I'll take this one out for now and then this other one, um, you'll have these like beautiful rings here, which uh, depending on pets and and uh, family members, girls especially have more hair. Um, just kind of remove all that, you set the side. And you should be doing this maybe every five cleans. I'd say that's, you know, if you have a pet, maybe every seven cleans if you, if you don't, but it's just gonna improve air quality and um, suction product lifespan. There's a little tab here, you see this metal thing here. I'm not sure if that's the, um, it detects when um, there's something caught in there or I always find that it's better if it gets cleared out, but I think it's something to do with sensors. I guess I shouldn't be pulling that from there, but. The good thing about all this iRobot stuff, especially the newer ones, they're all modular so you can get the parts. We recently just replaced the um, this guy here because one of them just popped off. Um, and in the app, it'll tell you how soon or, you know, to replace some of this stuff. sure that um, sometimes these contact sensors here um, have stuff on them and it prevents charging. Um, I'm gonna take this is just a Milwaukee ream but you can use like a sharp pen or anything like that. Like a Dr. Pimple Popper video, right? Fuck. I think there's a way that you can remove these, but.
Okay, so then I'll come back to this one because I think there is a way you can pop this in. Obviously, it'll probably take off here, but maybe I'll just get tweezers in a sec. Um, do those hairs get stuck in here? Empty the bin. I wish it would stop saying empty the bin. Like, I get it. Like, maybe after two times, I message received. Fuck. Well, I'm sure they can software update that. Probably will never happen, but whatever. Um, that's like, um, I think that's a camera there that detects edges, or one of these might be. Um, just make sure that there's nothing on it. Empty the bin. You know, maybe I'll just please it. There you go, buddy. Happy about that? Absolutely nothing in the bin because we're, we're finding that. Yeah, I know I took a little bit out of there, but it's been saying that since. And you know what? I think iRobot, they want you to buy the, the damn base that sucks it out and bags it for you because the 980 didn't have to be emptied as much. Yes, it had a smaller bin, but I'm talking about like six times as much, which doesn't, you know, the means don't justify the ends kind of thing. robot needs to come out with ones that go downstairs and also hop onto counters and dust your counters. I mean, it's 2020, this should be kind of a normal thing, right? Okay, so kind of tricky to sometimes put these back in, but you know, it, it'll say down here, let me just turn this around so you can see, that one is, um, Octagon, and then one is sorry. That's not an, that's not eight. That's the sixth hexagon or whatever. Um, then the square. So even though if you look at them here, they kind of both look like the hexagons or whatever. That's not the side that they're looking at. They're looking at this one. So it's kind of tricky. They should have used like you know a different shape that didn't. But anyways, so this one is the the one you put here, um, and it's got to just go in that hole. And then you'll notice like it it won't kind of just keep twisting until it's in and if you put the other one in the other one it uh, won't work so it's kind of a little bit foolproof okay so that's back in there go back here sometimes around the filter trap door you have some stuff in there Doing stuff like this can generally increase the lifespan of it, especially the parts. The motor has to work much harder, just logically, because if it's got to suck harder, it's going to, you know, drain more battery. It's gonna burn out the motor sooner. Um, everything has a chain reaction. Yeah, so like I was saying, try to do this every five days if you have pets, uh, seven if you don't. I guess if you have maybe a bunch of kids, you probably want to stick to the five. Because, you know, when you have kids, it's just throwing goldfish crackers everywhere, right? And then this guy's going to work super hard, so you might as well take care of it. Look at the sides. Empty the bin. Empty the bin. Stay with the 
reinstalled the bin. All right, so that should be good. Getting off of my, my dry towel. Reinstall the bin. Clean. When, when winter's the over bin. in Canada, every, all the Canadians use gloves for their towels. No, Empty the bin. All right. Empty the bin. I'm going to figure out that one later. Okay, so let's put it back in and check your filter. I mean, we've had it for three months and they say, you know, three to four months, sometimes six months, but we have a pet, so I'll probably now that it's three months old, end up, you know, popping in a new filter. That looks a lot better. Thanks guys.